Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at the cosine rule and the proof of it more so I can show you guys how we come about with the equation for cosine rule. Alright guys, so for this proof we're going to be looking at a non uh, right angle triangle as usual. So we're going to call this little capital A, little A. We're going to have angle B, little B. And we're going to have angle C and little C. All right, so with the cosine rule, we really don't want to use this, anything to do with sine rule at all, even with basic trig. So what we're going to do is we're going to split this up into two right angle triangles. All right, so there's our two right angle triangles. And what we're going to do is the base, we're going to rewrite the base in terms of, I'm, I'm looking at the right angle, the right side of triangle. So uh, I'm looking at this triangle where I've got angle A and side B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the adjacent, which is the, the base of this triangle, in terms of cos. Because if I say that's A, then I can use cos rule. So it'll become cos of A is equal to adjacent, which is A divided by, when I say A, I'm talking about adjacent, guys, divided by B. So I could write that the adjacent side, in fact, I'll put a little adjacent there. So the adjacent side is going to equal B times cos A. So this distance from here to here can be written as B times cos A, which means the distance from here to here could be written as C minus B cos A. Okay. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to use uh, Pythagoras to figure out what this red line is, and then I'm going to use Pythagoras again to figure out what A is. So going back to my triangle that's on the right hand side, I've got my hypotenuse, which happens to be B, and my side happens to be B cos A. So now I need to figure out what the missing side is, which happens to be that little red line there. Okay, so I'm going to call that just for now. I'm going to call this um, you know, different letter, guys. I'm going to use it as a letter Q. All right, so I can say Q squared is equal to B squared minus B squared cos squared A. Okay, because remember that um, if when, when you're doing Pythagoras, you know, if you want to find a missing side, side can be written as hypotenuse squared minus the side squared. So I'm going to leave that there for now. All right, I'm going to leave that as Q squared. Now I'm going to look at the left-hand side triangle. The left-hand side triangle, I need to figure out what A is. I have the, one of the sides is C minus B cos A. And then I have the height of this triangle, which happens to be Q, which is square root of B squared minus B squared cos squared A. Now using Pythagoras, I could say that the two bases, oh, sorry, not base, I could do this side squared plus the side squared equals A squared. All right, so the two sides squared equals A squared. So I can rewrite this as C minus B cos A squared plus Q squared equals the hypotenuse squared, which happens to be A squared. Now, when I expand this bracket C minus 2B, uh, C minus B cos A, I get C squared minus 2BC cos A plus b squared cos squared a plus, now q squared is already given here, which is b squared minus b squared cos squared a, and all that equals a squared. Now as you can see, the b squared cos a and the b squared cos a gets rid of each other, 
So I'm going to end up with b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a equals a squared. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the equation, the cosine rule. All right, and that's how you get the proof for it. So the next slide, I'll, I'll put it up in a nice, simpler way. So, well, not really simpler way. I'm just going to rewrite this. So if you have a, if you're trying to work with cosine rule, it's going to be a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Now, this is the formula that you use to actually find the missing side. And you can actually rearrange this formula to find uh, for the missing angle. So you can rearrange this as a squared minus b squared minus c squared equals negative 2bc cos a which means cos A equals A squared minus B squared minus C squared divided by negative 2BC. So sometimes you might actually see it written like this, cos A equals, so you'll see it written up like this, where you'll have B squared plus C squared minus A squared divided by 2BC. So the two formulas that we're going to be working with for the cosine rule, one is that to find the missing side. And for the missing angle, we're going to be working with this formula. And that's basically it for this session, folks. Thank you for watching. Any questions, pop them in the comments below.